Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be talking about the Movavi video editor. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I never know how to pronounce things, but they're sponsoring this video and they're giving everybody 30% off. Just click the link in the description. It's already cheap to start off with. It's around 30 US dollars, but with the discount that they're giving, it's around 20 US dollars, which is unheard of, especially considering they don't cut any corners with the software. They don't leave anything out to compensate for the price. They have all the basic features you need, screen recording, audio editing, audio effects, animated text, all that sort of stuff. So it's not like they're making it cheap just because it isn't as good. It definitely is up there with the other paid editors. The only other editor in its price range that I believe is actually good is Filmora and that's twice the price. So I really think that this is the go-to video editor once you finish with, you know, the free alternatives like iMovie, Movie Maker, VSDC and stuff like that. I think this is the next step. And there's actually a seven day free trial if you guys want to check it out. If you guys just want to test it out before making a purchase or just you just want to see how it is. There's also a bundle that they have, which includes all their other softwares, which is a really good bang for your buck. Just because there's other stuff that they have besides things for video. They have photo editors, video converters, slideshow makers, stuff like that. And you can get it all in one. There's also a screen recorder in case you guys want that as well. So the bundle is only 20 more dollars. So it's $50 for the bundle, which I think is really good. So yeah, let me just get started. So here you can create a project. So a video in full feature mode or slideshow wizard. They have this sort of thing in Filmora as well. And I'm always wondering why somebody wouldn't use full feature mode. Like you can see how basic it is even in full feature mode. It's not like not choosing full feature mode will make it easier for you. It's pretty easy anyways. So if I were you, I would always start in full mode just because that's that, uh, that just makes sense. Here you can set your project settings. So usually I record it in 920p right here and yeah, 30 FPS. So that works out. So here they actually give you a guide if you really want it. You can read the step-by-step -step guide, but you know, I'm kind of here for that. So let's not show that again. So as you can see here, there's just the basic importing. So you can record a video, you can record your screen, which is great. And you can add a folder, stuff like that, right? The reason why I recommend this for beginners is not just because of the price point, but because the ease of use and how many templates and built-in stuff they have. For example, if you go to sounds right here, they have a bunch of sound effects, music, same thing. And they're actually a partner with audio blocks and video blocks, which provide some of the best stock footage that I've ever seen. They have a huge library, like hundreds of thousands of stuff. So I think it's really good that they're partnered with them. So you have resources that you usually had to pay for because for video blocks and audio blocks, you actually have to pay for them like a subscription. So it's cool that you have it all included in here. There's also backgrounds. So I'd use this for like titles, presentation type videos. Like if you're doing like a PowerPoint Prezi style video, like educational videos, sample video, I'd use this for like overlaying on top of other things or in between clips, stuff like that. Music, I'd obviously add music and sound effects. You can add sound effects. This can add to the mood. I use this for short films. I'd use this for gaming videos, entertainment videos, comedic videos, stuff like that. Adds a different sort of vibe to the video, just having sound effects. So here I'm just going to drag in some of the clips I have. So this is my intro and my outro. They have like basically every genre here. So like, it's all right. Let's just go with romantic guitar because you know, my videos are pretty chill. So the great thing about this is that they have audio effects as well as video effects. So you don't have to go to audition or audacity for that sort of stuff. Not only can you remove noise, you know, edit the audio to make it sound better. You can also record voiceovers. So once again, no need for any other programs. If you press on the clip and then press this right here, you can see the tools, so the options that you can use. So you can lower the volume, you can change the speed up, you can fade it in, fade it out. And as you can see here, there are the video effects. So equalizer, noise removal, audio effects right here to make it like sound cool. Maybe you can like rap on this, I don't know, auto tune, you know. And yeah, there's a lot of audio effects for that sort of stuff. So the next thing we have here is filters. I think this is pretty good for beauty channels, to be honest, because there's a lot of effects that go on when I watch those videos. They're very colorful, very vibrant, and you can add things like light leaks and lens flares, which is very helpful. I personally wouldn't add it because I like to keep it really clean and raw, like mine's screen recording, right? I'm a tutorial channel, so I wouldn't add this sort of stuff, but I can see this coming very helpful for a lot of other channels. And like I mentioned before, there's a bunch of templates you can use. Same thing with the next one, transitions. There's a lot of transitions. And what I like about these type of transitions are that they're not the normal ones that you see in other editors. Usually they have the same ones like, like slide or fade in, fade out. There's twist. Like you just want to drag it on here and it twists. Have you ever seen anything like that? There's twist, but that's really cool that they have that like smear. That's a new one that I've never seen. Like I've seen slide and stuff like that, 
but smear shattered large never seen that a lot of the transitions they have are ones that distort the videos which is really cool usually the transitions are really simple but there's some advanced ones in here so i really like that they have that the next thing we have is titles and another great thing about this software is that you don't have to go to any other software you can record your screen here you don't have to go to obs or bandicam you can record audio here and edit you don't need audition and audacity and here you don't need after effects you can use these animated titles that they have already so if you're a beginner you don't have to worry about that and since they provide a bundle that is pretty cheap and because this software does everything you really need to it's very easy to just adapt into the ecosystem that they have set in place so here let me just place this clean circle to something i would use and basically what it does is it animates the circle it goes in a circle so let's just double click on here and just write new video and then let's just type in one of my tutorial maybe vertical effect and let's just move the title at the end here so you can see it animates the circle and that's really cool that's something you'd have to use after effects for a lot of people don't like the hassle of using adobe premiere pro but then having to go to after effects for motion tracking for special effects for that sort of stuff so it's helpful that they have this sort of stuff built in that's one of the things i liked about filmora it had a lot of animated stuff that i could use i think camtasia also just added that recently in their new editor so it's cool that more editors are doing this the next thing are callouts and these are actually kind of built for tutorial channels but i don't use them just because i like to have as little clutter in the video as possible i wouldn't use arrows i would just zoom in on a certain place using the next feature right here, which is pan and zoom. So you can zoom in, just select which area in the video you wanna zoom in on, and then you can do that. But I wouldn't use callouts. I would maybe think that educational videos would need this type of stuff, but for me, I personally wouldn't use it. The next thing we have is zoom in and zoom out. So I'll just show you guys how to do this right now. So you just press add, and then you could just select a portion you wanna zoom in and zoom out on. That's like pretty easy, right? The next thing we have are the tools. So if you just press on any of the clips, you can stabilize it, you can chroma key it. So this is to remove a green screen. So what I like about this editor is it doesn't cut corners. Like I said before, a lot of editors won't add this sort of stuff. When I made a video about VSDC, a lot of people were asking about, is there chroma keying? Is there, is there slow motion? And the reason people were asking that is because they know that in a lot of free and cheap editors, the companies sacrifice things so that they can sell their stuff for cheaper and advertise it as cheaper. But here it has everything you need. So here, as you can see, there's slow motion, chroma keying, stabilization, which is very helpful for in real life videos. If you don't have stabilization, it's really a turnoff. And then there's color adjustments. So you can do it manual, which I probably would, but if you don't know, there are auto adjustments that you can do. Besides that, some other helpful things are that there's a full screen playback. Sony Vegas doesn't have that. Premiere Pro doesn't have that. Camtasia doesn't have that. And that really, really turned me off as well. I still use Premiere Pro. However, it'd be so helpful if they had this. Maybe they do, maybe I don't know, but the fact that they have it is very helpful. So let me just go on some of the shortcuts here. Some of the toolbox things is actually really simple. So you can rotate, you can split. The shortcuts are kind of weird, like the keyboard shortcuts. For one, split a clip, it's control B. I'm not sure why that is, but it's control B. Control X to cut a clip, control C to copy, control V to paste, obviously. And it's control E to add a freeze frame. So basically what this does is it freezes, basically takes a screenshot of the first frame of the clip and it basically just sets a screenshot. So if you watch my music video effects tutorial, you'll know why this is important in some cases. Most people won't use this, but it's kind of helpful for me. And yeah, that's basically it. Besides that, the scale is here, so you can zoom in, zoom out. One thing that I didn't like about a lot of editors like Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Camtasia, is that I couldn't find the export button. For Sony Vegas, it was just so small, I didn't know where to find it. For Camtasia, same thing. But for Premiere Pro, I could find the export button. There was like four different kinds of rendering, like exporting. There was like add to media queue. There was like add to render queue, export all media, export in Adobe Media Encoder. So I didn't really know. Why don't most video editors just do this? This is way easier. Here you can change the quality once you export. The higher the quality, the higher the file size, obviously. Make sure that the project and export settings are the same. You can save as audio only, which is helpful. If you're doing podcasts and you just want to edit in the video editor because you can do that upload online straight to youtube this was really helpful for me when i was editing in filmora in camtasia for tvs apple devices android devices and other devices they actually have an app for uh, for apple and android devices so you guys want to check it out as you can see here it's called movevi clips video editor so you can do the same things kind of 
And if you guys want to see the other products, they're right here. You have like photo editing apps and screen recording apps and stuff like that. So that's really helpful. So you just want to press start and it'll be done. So let me just actually save as a video right here. So basically when it's done, it makes a sound to notify that you're done. Sony Vegas does a similar thing and I find it really helpful because usually I'm not at the computer when I am rendering because it takes time. So it's helpful that I can hear it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Hit that thumbs up button, 30% off in the description. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.